Hi, I'm Dave Whipple, and you're watching Bush Radical. Like you saw in another video the other day, I picked up this cool old wheel horse tractor for 100 bucks, and it just needed a little bit of love, and it runs good. It smokes a little bit, but who cares? It's an old tractor. But I want to tell you a different story. The guy I bought that tractor from, he lived on this lake. This is between Pearson and Howard City, Michigan. And on this old lake, there used to be an old railroad grade that ran through there back in the 20s. And that lake used to be used for ice. And he said that he's got some old pictures of right where his house sits, there was a four-story ice house. And they would cut the ice out of that lake and they'd load it into the train cars and they'd ship it to the cities and pack it in sawdust. And he said that he's metal detected that whole property and there's just no end of, of steel and iron and just chains and whatever else in the ground from back a hundred years ago when that used to basically be a, an ice plant on the railroad track. I had to buy the tractor, but he gave me this. Now, I love axes and you guys know I love axes if you watch this channel. But this dude, this guy came out of the ground and it was at least probably turn of the century. And this is going to be my toughest axe restoration ever. I'm sure of it. Let's take a look at this thing. Okay, for starters, I'm not really even sure what kind of pattern this guy is. It's got kind of a rounded pole, but the pole squeezes in in the back. And that's kind of like a, kind of like a Connecticut pattern. But it's not, it's not really a Connecticut pattern. It actually has a, a nice thin kerf to it. I mean, the last guy that was using this, he was using it for chopping. This isn't no splitting axe. It's full of sand. It's full of rust, dirt. So what I'm gonna do, there's no better tool for digging out a sand inside of an axe eye than a 7 16 wrench. That was a joke. Wow. Let me get this thing. Nothing but dirt and there's no wood left. Oh, there we go. Finally punched through the eye. Wow. I'm going to throw this guy in a vinegar bath and see what we can get it to turn out like. Truthfully, this eye is so thin, it's probably, it's probably not ever going to be any good for anything. But you know what, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to clean it up anyway, and I'll probably hang it again. Because this came from my home state, pretty close to where I grew up. And it's the real thing. This isn't like one of those, oh, it might be old. I mean, this is an old axe. And this come from the, the Michigan logging days, one way or the other. And you know what? This is a challenge. If, I mean, if this thing can even look halfway usable at some point, it would be kind of a miracle. You can see that eye is cleaned out. The walls are thin, but I, I'll bet you I can hang this thing and still use it. And that would just be, that would be seriously cool. I'd probably take that bump off the top because there's just a big chip missing out. And uh, wow, yeah. Yeah, that is cool. It's got moss on it. It's, been sitting in the guy's yard ever since he dug it out of the dirt. Let's go throw this in some vinegar. I've restored a lot of old tools over the years, but I've never messed with anything that's this far gone. This is pretty darn far, but um, it's got a connection to my cool old tractor. It come from a place that's not too far from where I grew up. It's definitely got real vintage mojo, and it, uh, it's, an old, it's an old axe from the part of the world I come from with real history. I gotta give it some love. I gotta, I gotta try. Oh yeah. Oh baby. There she is. Sitting there in the bottom of the bucket, just waiting for new life. Saying, bring me back to life. We give it a shot. So we got an old ax head here that is, uh, is as far gone as any I've ever messed with. We'll see how far back from the dead we can bring this thing. Now let's call this part one, because you know it's gonna take several days of sitting in the vinegar to do anything. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for your subs. If you haven't subbed, uh, feel free to sub. I'd sure appreciate it. My name is Dave Whipple, and you've been watching Bush Radical. And be radical, eh? See you soon.